Intermediate value theorem. It basically, okay, so we learned about continuity and what it means to be continuous is that if a to b is continuous of any function of y equals f of x, this is our y equals f of x, and this is a, and this is b, and it's continuous all the way through. If, we le if you learn anything about continuous functions, you should know that it's, you can, con you're going to be able to fit, take your pencil or your pen and be able to draw a straight line from all the, the left of your pen. Anyways, from what we go right here, what it states is basically saying a function y equals f of x that is continuous on a closed interval a to b, this is closed, meaning it doesn't go past them, takes on every value between f of a and f of b, which means that if a is 1 and b is 3, it will take on 2 and 1.1 1 .1 and everything else in between 1 and 3 down to any decimal point you choose. So in other words, so what we're trying to say is, is if if a y of 0, y 0, which is not saying that anything, it's just basically saying if is between f a and f b, then there is an f of c for some c in a of b. Basically saying that if, I hope the first definition was easier for you to understand. If a and b are closed interval and they're continuous, there's a point c between them. It will, there will be every single value between f of a and f of b. Will be c. Does that make sense at all? Yeah. So it's just. So basically saying, here's a good example. Let me move this paper over. Saying. If we have a graph right here, I'll move it over in a second for y'all. Um, I'm zooming in right good. I'm going to turn it for y'all a little bit. And A is 1, and you got 3, or B is 3, and we have the closed interval here. And we go like this. Meaning, and 1 starts at 2, I, I this is really bad, Jalal. Let's say 1 is at 2. And 3 is at 7. What it says is basically for in between f of a, it will take on every value between f of a and f of b. Meaning that if 1 is at 2 and 3 is at 7, 1.01 1. 01 will be like. No, it's basically saying that it will hit anywhere it will, no matter what, hit one, th 2 through 7. Yeah. It will. And these will be very helpful for you on AP exam questions when it tells you about continuous functions. That is all there really is to know about the intermediate value theorem. You just need to know that it will hit 2, and there is a value for 2, and it's going to be through, it could be a lower than uh, 2, but it will hit every single value in between the two, no yeah. matter what.